I got me a Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Zartan. Let's crack him open. <music> Greetings, Toy Heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, Everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro-Carded Zartan. Uh, I picked this up along with the Storm Shadow that I did a review of yesterday. And um, I just happened to see them on Walmart.com uh, and they were available and I got them and here they are. Here he is. I already did Storm Shadow. So let's take a look here. We've got the uh, retro-carded uh, Zartan. Now, as many of you know, Zartan really wasn't on a card in... Well, Zartan really was never in this form. This is not a... This is, a, this is basically a retro sort of version of the animated series Zartan. Um, this is not what Zartan looked like. Zartan, as we all know, came with the chameleon sled and all that good stuff. I remember I got mine at Hill's Department Store. I had it on layaway. That's how long ago that was, kids. Uh, but uh, taking a look at the packaging here, we got the old G.I. Joe logo. Uh, Zartan, there's his picture. There is Zartan and all his Zartaniness. And, uh, warning, choking hazard, don't put Zartan in your mouth, ages 4 plus Hasbro, right there. And then flipping this around, uh, we've got his file card there, as you can see, and, uh, there's the entire wave, which, again, I have all of those, all four of those now. Um, jibbery-jabbery legal jargon, G.I. Joe.com, ages 0 to 3, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. And more jibbery-jabbery legal jargon, houses of Klingon and barcode. And here we go. Uh, let's get him out. Um, this is actually, Zartan is the first G.I. Joe Classified series that I got. Um, I got mine at Walgreens, of all places. Um, when I had COVID, I uh, stopped there to, not when I had COVID, but after I had COVID. Uh, I stopped there to get uh, stuff. I don't know what, I don't remember exactly what I got. I just happened to meander back into the toy section and i was like hey zartan and he was on sale and i thought well i'll get zartan so i got zartan he was the first one i got and i got it i got i got him sitting right over here because we're going to do a compare and contrast with the other one this is very much 100 percent reuse i'm pretty sure at least 99 percent reuse Blah! Uh, 99% reuse uh, of the other one with a few little bits and bobs not in this one. Um, put that back in and we'll just put that right over here. And we're ready for the pedestal. All right, here we've got him on the pedestal. Let's take a look at the accessories. Uh, first off, we have the, just like the Storm Shadow, we have the black glossy Cobra Two peg stand with the uh, stamped Cobra logo on there. We all know what that is. And uh, then we have the disguise mask, uh, which uh, looks very, very much like the original. Uh, had that uh, mask that he came with uh, in the original. Um, and then also, as some of you may know, well, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Um, we also have the backpack, uh, which uh, is exactly um, like the other one. I've got the I've got my other Zartan here too. Um, has a little bit more paint apps on it. I'm gonna sit him over to the side here because we'll get to him. Um, has uh, some silver paint apps on this one, but it is black just like the other one. And this pops open uh, and has a place for the mask to go. As well as we've got some silver paint apps in there. And uh, this is supposed to be like his disguise kit. So we can put that face uh, right in there. And that fits right in there. Uh, I've got some red paint apps inside there. Uh, I'm not sure if the, uh, if the original has that or not. But uh, 
Um, and we've got some pegs on there too, and I don't know what peg holes, and I don't know what those are for, but we can put that uh, together there. It's got some pegs on the side for his uh, his gun, and I'm assuming his knife, but the, there's also a sh uh, sheath scabbard uh, on his uh, on the back of his belt for that knife too. Uh, and then we have his headdress uh, or his hood, if you will. Um, which I'm actually going to put on him because it's so hard to look at him without having that on. It's just really bothering me. Uh, but it is, uh, it's a soft rubbery material, uh, much like the other one. It's uh, basically all the same sculpt. It's just this, this is actually one that I really wanted when I got Zartan. I wanted this. I wanted him to look like he did in the animated series instead of like this, but that was the one that was available at the time. So that's the one I got. Um, Painted up a little different, but pretty much the same thing. Um, only difference, really, I think, is the monkey paw. I, this one didn't have the monkey paw, but it does have that little hole in the belt. Uh, but then we have his knife, uh, which is uh, has the silver paint apps on the blade, or silver paint app on the blade, and a black handle, uh, serrated edge there. It's the same knife that the other one came with. Uh, I'll sit that down. And then we have his uh, pistol. Uh, which uh, also is the same. I think it's the exact same, uh, exact same one that came with the other one. It looks like it might be a little bit lighter plastic in this one, but uh, but yeah, you know. Um, and then here we have Zartan. Let's take a look at. Let me grab the ruler if I can get it out. It's stuck. There we go. Uh, Zartan stands at right at six and a half inches tall. Uh, right there, bam. Um, looking at the sculpt, it is a really good sculpt. Um, same as the other one here. We'll put them side by side uh, so you can see the difference here. Uh, really nice sculpt. He's got the chest piece in with the blue and the and the uh, armor pieces on the legs in blue. If you remember the original Zartan, the chest piece and the leg pieces were clear, and there was. Um, there was uh there there were these stickers that you could put under them that changed color and then of course Zartan's skin changed color in the uh in the sunlight um this one does not do that i think they do have a blue skinned version of this where he does do that um but again it's, it's the same sculpt on everything but the, the monkey paw is missing but there is that hole uh there we'll move him off to the side here but, uh, yeah, it's a soft rubbery chest piece uh, with some black pauldrons there, some gray up there all going along the shoulders, back into the back with the blue. Um, there is his scabbard, which we can put the knife in. If I, if I can get that in there. There we go. So that fits in there nice and snug, doesn't fall out. Uh, and then we've uh, got to place the hole for the backpack right there on the back. Um, got little gray armbands on there. Uh, just a different colorization uh, from the other one. His skin is even more of a flesh tone than the uh, this other one is very, uh, I don't know, pale and mottled. But um, got the black um, armored gauntlets there with the black gloves, which is pretty much the same as the other one. Uh, this one, the actual the belt buckle uh, actually has a silver paint app on it and you can see the little loops there um, just like the other one is just basically all black with little black glossy loops on there but the uh, buckle is just uh, just like a slate gray um, and then you've got the belt with the, the, uh, that the uh, back piece of the belt is actually sort of a back part of the pants uh, and then uh, I've got silver buckles there on the blue chest piece um, with the um, uh, bandana um, matching the headgear or the uh, headdress or the hood, in, in which case this one was a little bit darker, uh, but same color uh, headband that, that as the original. Um, blue right there, black on the knee pads, black boots, uh, or black armor shin guards with uh, gray boots. Even has the treads on there. It's really, really nicely done. This looks really good. It does look very much like the animated series Zartan. Um, going over uh, articulation, let's pop his headdress off real quick. 
Uh, we've got a neck with a ball. Oh, look at that. It just comes off like that. I didn't realize that. Um, neck going down into a ball into the body with a dumbbell going up uh, at the top of the neck into the head. Um, head goes all the way around and uh, great down, great up. Uh, super duper tilt on the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving it. Um, I can put that back on. It just, he just looks so weird with, <laughs> without that on. Um, do you have, uh, these are soft rubber on the, uh, pauldrons there. So you, you can get, uh, his arms up there. Do you have a butterfly joint, uh, on the upper torso? Um, Shoulder uh, hinge going all the way up to there. Um, fix that there. Um, seems like that should be able to go up further than that, but I don't want to... may need to be heated up a little bit. But uh, arms go all the way around. I uh, do have a bicep swivel and a double elbow going right to there. Uh, do have a, is there a gauntlet swivel? I don't think, no, there's not. Um, but, uh, wrist swivel all the way around and, uh, up and down on the left as well as the right, um, or is the right in and out? No, it's up and down. Yeah. Up and down, uh, on the right hand as well. Uh, do have a hinge mid torso for ab crunch goes way back, way forward. Uh, waist swivel. Yes, yes, yes. Um, just like Storm Shadow, this is hitting all the points. Legs uh, all the way out with a drop-down ball joint on the leg, at the top of the leg. Uh, legs all the way out to there for the splits. And then we have a thigh swivel right there with a double knee going back. Oh, the legs are very smooth. Going right back to there. And then we also have a boot swivel with uh, detents on the feet and a forward rocker on the feet there. Uh, let's put his backpack on him. Um, hopefully this one's, this one stands a little bit better than the, uh, the original. Let me get his, uh, get his gun in his hand there. Get that trigger finger in there and we'll put, put him right next to the other one. Um, there we go. His arms seem to be out a little bit more. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, he's he's more of an animated series look uh, than the original, but it's basically the same. Uh, it's a reuse, so it is the same, same guy. Pretty much 100% minus the monkey paw. So let's uh, pop him off the pedestal and line him up with some other characters and see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series, Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series, Wolverine Origins Wolverine, the Mezco 112th Collective, Superman Man of Steel Edition, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics, uh, Sinestro in the yellow uh, costume. Uh, all in all, extremely happy with him. I like the original, too. I mean, it's Zartan. We all love Zartan. Zartan's just one of the coolest characters. I'd say he's probably the second most popular character uh, as far as Cobra, um, right under Storm Shadow. Um, but, um, or maybe under Destro. Maybe he's third. I don't know. You tell me. Leave a comment down below. Um, definitely give him, I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. Um, looks great. Um, no, no real complaints. Uh, you know, I, 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 it's hard to give something a 10 out of 10. Um, I think the only figure I have that I gave a 10 out of 10 is that Maton, uh, John Constantine that, uh, that, uh, yeah, Keanu Reeves, Constantine. Um, I don't know. He's 10 out of 10 too. <laughs> But uh, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the Digitally Rebastard Network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.